Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Mark and this is my 2014 Mustang. I've had it for a few months now and I want to talk to you guys about the things I like and the things I don't like about it in case you guys are interested in buying one. Alright, so let's just talk about the basics. What is the car? This is a 2014 Mustang. It is the GT version, so I have the 5 liter V8 in it. It puts out 420 horsepower and it has a 6 speed manual transmission. Now this is the S197 platform. Uh, these cars were out from 2004 until 2014 and then it got replaced with the S550 which is now all the new Mustangs you see driving around. Now in 2010 they did a bunch of changes to the Mustang so it's the same platform but it has a lot of different features in it compared to the 2004 until the 2009. Now the first thing you'll do notice in the front is it has a different front fascia. And then if we go around to the back here, a couple of things they did is they changed the way that the rear end looks. If you see the tail lights kind of curve in a little bit here, where in the older ones it was just flat pretty much all the way across. Now the last couple years of this platform, they went and they changed the tail lights to everything to be black. But if you look at the older models, they're all in the center. It's usually color matched to the rest of the body and you're just gonna have your red tail lights. I do like this a lot better. Now, pretty much everything I don't like about this car has to do with the interior of some kind or another. So we'll start from the back here. We'll start with the trunk. It has a pretty spacious trunk, but this hole is not very big. And there's been several times I've run into not being able to fit stuff in here, like suitcases or stuff like that, because it doesn't fit through the hole. Like if you look at the hole, this is only you know, arm's length or so. So it's not very big to be able to put things in. The actual space itself is pretty big, but I also don't like the trunk mat here. It's pretty flappy. So as you see, like everything back here, it's not, it's not a very good finish. Like it's not very hard. These are really flappy. They can sit like that. And then up there, it never seems to want to sit right either towards the front. It's pretty flappy, not a very good finish. I don't really like that. So. All right, so for the interior of the car is where most of the stuff I don't like is. Now, the biggest thing that I do not like about this car is the sync system. This is horrible. I've, I've never really ever gotten it to work. You can push the button, ask it to do anything, and it never understands what you're saying. It's not like your phone, um, you know, all the new Android devices and iOS. Like, you can talk to it and Siri understands what you're saying. This is not, it's never gotten it right. I don't know, I feel like I speak fairly decent English, but I can never get it to listen to what I'm saying. Now the cup holders here, I do like, you do get the two cup holders, but they're kind of in the way. So if you see right here, I got my two cup holders, but my shifter's right there. So if I have any drink in the cup holder spot, I can't actually shift. I have to shift kind of weird. Like I have to put my arm in the air and shift like this if I have anything from any fast food place or anything like that. You know, they, they need to figure out where to put these cup holders somewhere else, move them out of the way so that I can shift normally and not hit everything. Or at least, you know, shift more comfortably. It would have been easier to put the cup holders maybe a little bit off to the side or, you know, put them on the dash like some other cars, but not this one. This one didn't work out very well. Now, for some of the things that I do like about this car, since I'm already in the interior, I'm just gonna start here, is I think it's pretty decent quality. If you look around, you know, I have leather seats. Uh, you know, most of the materials are all right. Some of it's still plastic, like that's plastic. You know, the panels are plastic, that's plastic. But I don't mind plastic that much. Um, after having my Subaru, my Subaru was like, everything was plastic. This is actually has a nice finish to it. There's some squishy parts, like the dash is pretty squishy. And you know, this is pretty squishy. Like it's a nice soft touch, it feels nice. You know, it's not like a hard plastic that you're, you know, laying on all the time and it gets all sweaty. So the other thing I like about the interior is the back seats. Like there's, like there's actually plenty of room for a human being to sit in there. Look, there's room to put your legs down here. It may be a little bit cramped, but you could put two human beings back there. I've had them back there, you know, maybe not long road trips, but we could definitely drive around town. So that's good enough for me. I've been in a few different cars that like, the seats sit all the way against the cushion here. And if you wanted to sit in the back, you better not have legs because you're not gonna fit. All right, so let's talk about the outside of the car. You know, honestly, I think this is a really good looking car. Some people don't like Mustangs, some people don't like the way they look, but 
I love the way this thing looks. I think it's a very beautiful car. No, but the reason that I got a 2014, which is the second generation of the S197 Mustangs is that engine. It is very, okay, I just look at it, it's very dirty. That right there is a five liter Coyote engine. It puts out 420 horsepower. In 2010, they changed it and put this engine in there. The one they had before was a 4.6 liter, put out 300 horsepower. It was probably the most gutless engine that I have ever driven in a Mustang. I do not like them. You know, you have to put a lot of money in those just to get to the stock power levels that these put out. Just for that reason alone, right there, that engine, that would be the reason I would say get a 2010 to a 2014 Mustang if you're looking at S197. I would not get a 2004 to a 2009. The engine is just horrible. They don't really make a lot of power. They sound great, but it's slow. Like, it's not even worth it. Now, the other thing that I really like about that engine is the noise it makes. It sounds really good. Like, from factory, it's pretty quiet. Still sounds all right, but with any cat back or axle back you put on this thing, sounds pretty good. Just listen. I'm talking about now the other thing that I want to talk about this thing is I think it handles pretty well you know it doesn't have the independent rear suspension like the new s550s do it has a solid rear axle so but it does have a limited slip and it does handle really well on the track I've taken it to autocross a bunch of times. I want to take it to an actual track day here soon, but I haven't been able to set that up. Oh, that brings me to another thing that I don't like about this car. There's no place to put tow hooks on this thing. You know, if you go to a track day, you have to have tow hooks. And the only ones that I can find, I have to actually cut a hole in the front. So you got to cut a little hole in the slot right here. And you got to go behind here and you got to weld in a tow hook to the little cross brace behind it and I haven't even found anything for the rear yet that I can do. So I'm gonna have to figure something out, fab something up so I can put tow hooks on this thing. All right, now the last and final thing that I really like about this car is that there is so much aftermarket support for these. Mustangs have been out since 1994, 1994, 1964, which, how many years is that now? It's a lot of years and it's been out so long and so many people has the, have these. This is the number one selling sports car in the world you know there's so many of these out there there's so much aftermarket support you can do so many things to these all right so if you guys like the video smash that thumbs up button let me know you know write down in the comments if you think the mustang is the greatest thing out there or you think i should have bought a camaro and camaros are way better than ls this and ls that which you know i wouldn't mind having one but i am glad that i bought the mustang if i was going to do it again i definitely still would have bought the mustang i may buy a newer camaro one of these days who knows i may buy a newer mustang i don't know We'll see what happens. I've had this one for a couple months now. I plan on keeping it for at least a couple years. And then maybe one day I'll end up buying another one. But also, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. That way the next time I post a video on my car, you guys will be the first to know. Also, I'll leave my Instagram handle down below. Thank you guys. I will see you next video.